Hi, my name is Katie Weiss, and I am the founder of Behold Visio Divina. We are a ministry devoted to helping women know more deeply of their dignity by praying with sacred art and scripture. I am so happy you are joining me in praying with art. For this special series, we are going to walk through a different form of prayer together, and we'll focus on the theme of Mary, Jesus, and St. Joseph. This series is due to finding praying with art healing in my own life. I was raised Catholic and grew up in a beautiful family which radiated God's love to me. I'm the third oldest of seven children and grew up frequently going to Mass and the sacraments. When I was in middle school, I saw a video of Mother Teresa and that experience marked my life. I desired to go and help bring others to Jesus and from then on, I wanted to be a sister. So I entered religious life at the age of 20 in the year 2013 and I really desired it, I really wanted it, and had thought about it from the time I was 10. Um, but while I was there, I noticed that I was deeply unhappy. And as I looked around, I saw a lot of my fellow classmates saying they were deeply peaceful and happy, while I saw on the inside I was very restless and unhappy. And for the next few months, I found that I really struggled with that. Um, but. At that point, I came across an image of Fra Angelico's Annunciation. This image was deeply powerful for me because I found myself struggling with a lot of anxiety and depression, and yet I really related to Mary for the first time in my life. I found that praying with this image really helped me place myself in the scene and to relate to her, and especially the part in the passage in Luke's Gospel where it points out that Mary was afraid and yet she gave her yes. Going forth from that, I found the freedom to give my yes to the Lord and to discern out of religious life with trust that he was calling me out. The event deeply impacted my life. And after going to a women's conference called the Given Forum in 2016, I gave back to the church in a five-week program on praying with art at my parish. What started out as a small group for 15 women and myself is now a full-time ministry for me that I pour my heart into. And I am excited to share what we do with you in the coming videos. Little did I know way back in 2013, I was finding deep healing in a prayer that had been in the church for ages, Visio Divina. It is like Lexio Divina, listening to God's word and scripture, but with an image to guide the meditation. And we see examples of this through the ages. During medieval times, stained glass windows were very influential in catechizing the illiterate. It was a way to teach the life of Christ and the saints through images, and having light come through the glass was a symbol of the light of Christ. During this time, we also see illuminated manuscripts, which had images on pages to reflect a story. And in our present day, a way we practically live out this way of prayer is through the Stations of the Cross during Lent. As we can see in these many examples, our life as Christians is very incarnational. This relates to Jesus Christ and how he redeemed us in taking the form of a man, but also in how we live our Christian lives. We are body and soul, and so using our entire bodies, our senses, we can enter more deeply into our relationship with God. In this and in the following videos, we are going to walk through this way of prayer particularly with a format we have used in our small groups in parishes throughout the U.S. Through the many years of our ministry, it has been profound to see God's power at work through this prayer and to see how for each person it is so unique. Beauty has an amazing capacity to break down interior walls we may have in our hearts and also is a vehicle by which we can find God's healing power. I want to encourage you in these coming prayer sessions to walk this with the Lord and pray for the grace to receive his unique love for you. We have many resources available from our ministry, such as books, retreats, and workshops as a support if you find this enriching. Before we begin, I just wanted to outline the steps we will be using. I want to encourage you, take as long as you need on each step and go where the Spirit is leading you. The first step is looking at the image or visio. Be aware of what strikes you. It's different for each person. The second step is meditation or meditatio, being attentive to God's word. You might be attentive to words or phrases that strike you. The third step is prayer or oratio. It's a prayer of your heart and a conversation with God. 
The fourth step is contemplation or contemplatio, and it's just resting in his presence. And the last step is the action step or axio. It's asking yourself and the Lord, how will I live this out? As you pray, you might find that some beautiful encounters of intimacy with the Lord can happen, along with finding some walls or struggles in your heart. Do not be afraid if this happens. Discern if it is the voice of the Lord or not. The Lord is gentle, and if He is leading you in such places, it would be with a gentleness and a healing peace. I look forward to praying with you in the next few videos, and thank you for joining me with Behold Visio Divina.